one of the 20 budding entrepreneurs that was accepted into Teal's fellowship is with me now. Dan Freeman is here. He is the co-founder of Thinkful. Dan, thanks very much for joining us here on Money Moves. Glad to have you. Thank you. How many entrepreneurs were you competing with? So 20, we should say, you're one of the 20 were selected. How wide was the field? So they don't publish the exact numbers, but I think there was somewhere in the range of 500 to 1,000. Okay, so I mean, it's a pretty obviously big <laughs> honor to you. Very um, lucky to be in it. What was the interview process like? Sure, so it started with a written application where they asked us a little bit about uh, sort of what we believe and what we wanted to do. Uh, and then that led to a phone interview. Uh, and finally, they flew us out to California and. Uh, had 40 finalists there uh, pitch a whole team of mentors and sort of evaluate our idea and our experience and, and just uh, how they thought we'd do in the program. So even though you knew that you were pitching along with 39 other people, did you all know that half would be cut, half would go through, half would be cut? We roughly knew that was the case, but uh, so it that's was, pretty tough. <laughs> it was a fun weekend. Yeah, I'm sure fun slash intense. What is it like working with Peter Thiel? What is it like having him as a mentor? Sure. Well, he's he's obviously got uh, you know incredibly deep experience, and particularly on education, he is uh, he's been ahead of the curve the whole way. You know, the, the fellowship has really raised the profile of asking the question of how we should be educating ourselves and. Uh, even you know, one step further, arguably, right? Saying even is a traditional education really worth it if you have access to extremely focused and accomplished mentors? Right, exactly. I mean, we, the, the fellowship provides this exceptional network of mentors, and that's actually something uh, we've borrowed from with Thinkful. So, uh, you know, we, we have. So it's an online education platform, and adults go there to improve professional skills, right? Exactly, right. So we teach people to code right now, and there's obviously lots of places you can go to learn that, but uh, we distinguish ourselves because you get one on one support from mentors. Okay, because I, for example, have taken some classes via Code Academy, but it's true, you're on your own. You, you have to do it. I mean, now you can kind of write in and ask questions, and I will say the community is very supportive, and you, you get feedback from mm -hmm. your peers, but you're saying you're offering a more project-based learning experience. Exactly. So all of our students are spending most of their time building real websites and building real projects, and as they're going, they meet once a week with mentors who are experts in the area. Okay, but so you don't have to pay those students who are giving their time, and you don't have to pay the experts that are giving the mentoring experience. No, we do. The, uh, the mentors are actually part of our team. You know, teaching is an incredibly hard skill, and we don't want to just trust it to volunteers. Uh, we consider it a core skill as, as part of what we do. What is your goal? You're going to obviously be working in the confines or with the support of this fellowship for two years, right? So what do you hope to do with Thinkful over the next, say, 20 months? Sure. Um, so we hope to be teaching a broad range of skills that will help people level up their professional skills. And we hope to be helping people get new jobs. We hope to be helping people get promoted and, and just generally discover, uh, discover what they love doing and then go out and do it. Okay, and so, for example, you might branch out to more than, I don't want to say just coding, because that's mm -hmm. already a pretty big piece of the puzzle for a lot of people. Sure. But what are the fields that you have your site set on? Sure, we don't want to name exact names yet. We're still sort of talking to a lot of companies about what they really need, uh, and it really is driven by the market needs. Uh, but there's a range of both technical and then more basic computer-related skills that we think uh, there's real demand for. Dan, before we let you go, what gave you the idea for this? Sure. Uh, it really came from the first few months in the program and, and seeing in myself and my peers that as you learn about what you want to be doing, you discover that you need all these skills. Uh, and there wasn't a great way to learn everything that I wanted to learn. So, you know, I just decided to go out and build that.